Went to the hospital. He stressed me out. I did go to the hospital over the stress of it. I had to leave work. I couldn't function. I didn't have a vehicle. He kept telling me that he's going to pay for the vehicle. He never paid for the vehicle. You're suing him because Yes, yes I am happened? suing him for $5,000. Yes. For damages that he caused to my car and to my car, to my vehicle in an auto accident, yes. in which he was at fault, so I had no choice but to sue him. I was coming home and I was going onto the highway on the ramp. The defendant was exiting off of the highway. Okay. Do we have a diagram of that? Yes, we do. Why don't I take a look at that? So as you can see here, this is me in the blue car over here on my lane. Okay. Now I notice there's snow there. Yes. This happened on February 11th. Yeah. Ooh. You can tell that the Ow. road conditions were very bad that day. It was slippery, it was snowing, and he was driving recklessly. As you can see, I'm on my lane. Ooh. He's getting out of his lane over the snowbank and onto my lane. Okay. So therefore, you can tell that he was driving negli negligently. I want to disagree with what he just said. Okay, well, I'll make the judgment whether it was ne negligent, but I understand what you're saying. He hit the snow and he hit you in the front. Yes, correct. Yeah. Now, what happened after that, the police came over and they exchanged information. They asked him for his insurance. He claimed that day that he had insurance, but he couldn't pull it up because it was on his, he didn't have the insurance card, he had it on his phone. And so when the airbag came from the impact, this phone was cracked and did not work anymore. But do you have insurance? Yes. You now have insurance? Yes. But you didn't then? No. And that's why you gotta have insurance. And my phone broke on impact. And they did give him a ticket. First of all, I was coming from work, and as I was getting off the exit, yes. I slid on black ice. Yes. There was black ice, I couldn't see. No one's accusing you here of doing it on purpose. Yeah. You know, it was icy conditions. Now, the law on icy conditions is that you have to drive considering what the conditions are. Because you could see, if it was simply that the city could always be blamed for ice on the road, then as soon as the snow came down, no city could function. Not Your, to say Honor, that I would any also city like to functions add, anyway. Yeah, except mind. the fire department, they're always very good. He's a firefighter during off season. <laughs> on the second page, you see that on the left side, I had insurance, but on the right side, the defendant did not have insurance. And if you take a look at exhibit B on the first page, where the officer wrote down his notes, they mentioned that he admitted fault and guilt, that he lost control of his vehicle, went out of his lane, over a snowbank, onto my lane, and caused the accident. I see that. I would yes. also like to add that that night we exchanged contact information and we spoke on the phone several times and he promised, he swore up and down that he will take care of it by the end of the week and he will pay for it and there will, be, there will not be an How issue. much are the damages? The total damages was $5,830.63. The front bumper was replaced, the radiator was replaced, the front bumper cover was replaced, they replaced the headlights as well, they repaired the hood, they replaced the front grill, they're also uh, charged for labor as well. My guess is the accident happened. You got out to make sure everyone's okay. So yeah. said to I him, checked him. That's the first you thing weren't, quote, misbehaving. He wasn't being mean or anything. We In asked. the beginning, he was a gentleman. He said exactly. he, took, he accepted fault. He was going to pay for it. The reason why, we, why I ended up coming to court and suing him was because of how, how unfair he was afterwards. When I started to give him a call and to, and to arrange a time to meet, he even told me, come and make a visit at his, at his home, and you'll have the payment on a Friday. So I called him throughout the week just to, you know, confirm with him that we will, are, are we still okay to meet on this day and have the payment in hand? He made an excuse and he said, you know what, can I just uh, get, a, get a hold of your mechanic? I would like to speak with him and then I'll take care of it from there. Okay, at what point did you tell him that it was 5,000 and something dollars? This was after. A few days after the accident. Okay, I got after it. that? Yes. I want to add something on sure, what, he, go what ahead. he said on about his vehicle. When he, when he first, when, he, when we're at the scene, right? Yeah. He was able to leave the scene first. So the vehicle was still operatable. You drove the vehicle away. Yes, from the, correct. I was able to so drive the, the vehicle, vehicle away. the vehicle did work. The vehicle did work. It did drive out, out of the scene. That's why I got in contact with his mechanic to get a clearer. And what did the mechanic say? He said, and first of all, his mechanic is his father, right? The mechanic is not my father. It was someone related to him. He's like, my son, he, his father, someone, you, someone in your family calls me. He's like, oh, my son, he's stressed. He needs to go to, he needs to go to, the, he is in the hospital, he's sick. That's what he's calling me and telling me. And you went to the hospital? He stressed me out. I did go to the hospital over the stress of it. I had to leave work. I couldn't function. I didn't have a vehicle. He kept telling me that he's gonna pay for the vehicle. He never paid for the vehicle. So I had to get, I had to get a rental car and it caused me a lot of stress. And, and even his mother called and she also swore that, that his mom who said by the end of the week, True. we'll pay for it. Again, the mechanic tried to follow up with him just to confirm so he can start repairs on my vehicle. But again, not, not only the defendant did not respond back to the calls, but his mother also did not respond. 
So okay, I had no well, choice but to, to sue. I think you're in a position because you didn't have insurance. This whole thing could have just gone away. I find for the plaintiff in the amount that he sued for $5,000. He was found guilty, just like he should have been. Doug Zeri, he does a good job. He has a good sense of humor. I'm very happy with the decision that Judge Jerry decided. It's great to be here and I'm happy to see that there is a judge that tries to do good justice for the people and the citizens of America. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.